Hey guys, what is up? It is Pieces of Prestige and welcome back to Building Prestige Heights. This is episode 10 and as promised before, I'm actually going to do a quick park tour and we're gonna look at the rides and also the scenery of course. So <laughs> basically, let's get through, uh, let's see if I can change camera modes here. There we go. Um, now this is basically what we built in the first couple of episodes and I'm gonna turn that off real quick. I keep getting emails, very annoying. All right, so here we go. Um, this is the entrance area with the first restaurant and if we look at it from the inside you can see some lanterns it's, it's very basic and simple and generic basically uh, it's just some tables with some barrels as um, as chairs basically all right let's not go go through the woods there all right there we go now to the right of that we have this toilet building and the peeps can actually use it. Uh, I'm not sure if this guy is going to the bathroom. You can see him walking through the scenery a little bit. Uh, that's not really what I wanted, you know, to happen. But I guess we can't really change the way the game works right now. Uh, you can actually lay the paths on top of the scenery, but it will just look a little weird, uh, and it can't really connect. So it won't be like a little step up to the building. All right, so let's continue on. Now what we have here is kind of a food court, and you can go in through here and also there where that peep is walking right there um, and you see chief beef also right there all right so basically what you have here is you have a little hat store and we have a let's see a cosmic cow and we also have a chief beef and that's basically what there is here now here little toilet you can see everybody walking through the floor uh, that's just because of course the <laughs> the path is actually like one level below the floor so the peeps are just walking straight through it but I really like the way that I uh, well that basically this path can actually attach to it like this with two separate paths and like being like a sidewalk of some sort basically all right now we have a little fountain here and then here we have the first entrance to the first ride. Now let's go ahead and slowly walk through <laughs> the entrance. All right, let's do it a little bit quicker uh, through the entrance queue. And as you can see, this path is lined with these lanterns, which I think look very good. Uh, at night, they look even better. They really illuminate the scene and make it look like a little bit of a warm ambient queue line, basically. This warm ambience that, that it has. And we have the Rocktopus, and I really like this ride. It looks great from above, you know, when it's actually doing its thing. Um, the arms work, well basically the, the ride works in a very realistic way. It, they actually kind of copied the real world um, sequence that, the, ga that the, uh, the ride actually does, basically. And they actually implemented it in the game, and that's something I really like. Now, uh, alright, let's continue on. Here we go, we have this tiny little ferris wheel of some sorts, and it's a little kitty wheel uh, of death. I'm not sure, it's actually closed. There we go, let's open it real quick, uh, so people can start flooding in. There we go. And it's just a little something to fill up the space right here. That's also why, I, you know, I don't really like the colors of it, it's a little too bright. So I placed a lot of foliage in front, and also to the side I placed this little red bush to kind of, kind of mix it in a little bit with the scenery, uh, well basically with the foliage scenery around it. And that's that. Now, <laughs> before we get to the coaster part, uh, which we will ride today, we're, we're gonna ride it. Uh, can't wait for that. It's gonna be awesome, I hope. But let's go here. Uh, this is the entrance, basically, to the back of the uh, modern area. And you can see this kind of weird arc structure. Arch, uh, arch structure? Wow. Pronunciation is very hard. Alright. And uh, it just kind of gives this big entrance feel to this area and you can see the hotel right away uh, with the uh, King Coaster in front and I really like the fact that this walkway here actually leads up to the hotel and it has this wall with lights on it and the peeps actually walk into the hotel and out of the hotel because I actually placed some stalls here some toilets and a stall a hat stall and I really like that you know I really like the fact that the peeps can actually um, walk up that little path area and actually into the hotel it looks very realistic so I really like that um, so yeah let's get into this and this is actually the well the fourth ride I think I placed the fourth yeah uh, it's a magic carpet ride uh, how is it called genie one and you know in front we have this chief beef another one with the police lights of course on top it looks very cool 
and we have this roller coaster like piece of scenery uh, built with the roof trims with pipes underneath it and then here we have the entrance to the genie now uh, this is kind of a weird entrance thingy it looks to me it looks even better than this thing because this thing is just everywhere every single ride you place you have this entrance thing but whatever you know the ticket booth so let's get into the queue now you can see this lonely person here walking up to the right I'm sorry for the lagginess by the way of this video somehow my computer isn't really handling this very well um, so I <laughs> You know, I'm not going to lower my settings, but um, yeah, I can actually record on another computer that's a little better. I'm going to do that next time, so uh, we'll see how that goes. The next, like, full park um, tour episode, we're going to do that. So here you can see the genie in action. It's basically just a chaos, I think it is, from Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. And it just, it goes back and forth while rotating and it looks pretty cool. And it's really big. It actually kind of fills up the space very well. It kind of creates too much of a pavement area, to my belief, basically. I would like this to be actual uh, ground, so basically that the footprint of the ride is not as big as the total outline, the rectangular outline of the of the uh, coaster thing, basically, uh, the attraction. So that's a little, you know, something uh, of a pet peeve of mine. I don't really like it that it's so big, but we're just going to have to live with it for now. Moving on from the modern area we have this weird wall with some struts and then right here we have another wall with lanterns on it and then moving on we have something that I'm pretty proud of we have a games area and this games area is the first one I actually saw in Planet Coaster I'm not sure if there are any others uh, that might be later but basically what this is is the peeps can go in here well hypothetically they can't really because there's no path going in but you know just suppose they could they could go in here and they could play some kind of a well not really ring, it's not ring toss but it's kind of a uh, hit the basket with the ball kind of game and basically you stand behind this counter with the balls here and you throw them in here and they will roll either through here or you can actually throw it in the basket basically and you'll get points but that's just kind of you know it's it's really weird to uh, experiment sometimes with scenery pieces just placing them in different styles to create different things but it worked out very well in this case it actually just you know placed some window borders right here and little windows in there and it actually worked out quite fine so yeah I'm really happy with that uh, moving on we have some little cargo right here just a little bit of a, um, a space filler I suppose and of course some tables with some seating let's move on um, before we actually exit the modern area we're gonna go to the coaster so let's go ahead and go to the coaster now in front of the coaster this is basically the coaster station but on the opposite side of the path we have this kind of modern restaurant it also has the barrel seats which I don't really like but I couldn't really find any other um, piece of scenery that I could use for that so you know I'll have to see if I can experiment a little more but I actually did change this up a little bit. These are, these are actually like the barrel statues with the anchor statues beneath them that look like footers of the tables. And it looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Alright, so these weird uh, lamps on the walls. And of course, some, uh, some simple stalls. Now we only have the chief beef and the cosmic cow in the hat stall. So that's a little... Yeah, it's not too big of a choice. But I mean, we can just place those everywhere and they work out great. So... Let's continue on. Here we actually have the entrance area of the modern area again. The entrance thing of the modern area. And here we have the entrance to the coaster. So let's go ahead and enter the queue line. So we're going to fly through it. And here we have the first, well actually the only uh, waiting area basically where the people can zigzag through the queue line. And then you go through the queue line and we're going to actually ride the coaster in daytime. And not in the uh, in night time that will come, I think, in the final episode of the um, the series. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is just a little quick preview of the coaster. So let's go ahead and go into the station building. So we're going to fly over all of these guests. Oh, there we go. And you can see them lining up here to enter the ride in a very uh, small queue, basically. And... A narrow queue actually is what no, the word I was searching for and then here you have the coaster so let's go ahead and ride it let's do it here we go
All right, so now that we've seen the coaster, uh, which I am actually going to tweak a little bit more, you know, right here at the turns uh, here in the end of the layout, basically right here. Um, I'm going to tweak that a little bit. I'm going to make it kind of better, uh, smoother, and more realistic. But that's going to, you know, I'm going to do that off camera. I'm not going to do that in an episode. But now that we've seen the coaster, basically, there's going to be actually a cinematic view um, thing about this coaster. But that's going to be done when the entire theme uh, and the ent entire park is going to be done. There's going to be individual videos of the rides, maybe. Or I'm actually going to do, like, a big video of the entire park. But we'll see how that goes. Let's first just focus on what we have so far. So, moving on, we have this area here. The little plaza area that has nothing yet. Uh, but there's a fountain with some benches around it and a little bit of a wall back here. That's kind of masking the coaster off a little bit. Uh, it's not doing that too much, but you still kind of, you know, I really like the fact that you can still see the coaster, like, come from there and woof over this wall into the break section. I really like that. Uh, it kind of gives this, like, flyby feel. And right here, we have the rocky outcrop that is the entrance to the castle theme. And I'm not sure what we'll do with this rock right here, this rock work. Maybe we'll add, like, a little bit of a natural wall or something like that. Or um, make this, like, a cave area where you actually have this cave going off and branching off into another area. But we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure. Uh, so far, we just have this and then the entrance of the castle. And what I said in the first couple of episodes is that I don't want this, you know, this park to become a realistic area that kind of looks like... You have um, a real castle that you kind of build a theme park in. But I want it to look like it's actually a theme park castle. So I did kind of plan the walls and the scenery items strategically, as I said in the previous episode. But what I um, don't want to do is make it too realistic so that it doesn't look theme parky, basically. But we'll see how that goes. Now right here we have some cannons and... Uh, some ammunition and this little ele oh, this elevator right here that kind of looks cool. It kind of just adds to the effect a little bit. I really like the ambient shadows that it gives off. You know, the scenery items are very well. The shadows are very well in this game. I like the fact that they're done so good. Um, but yeah, that's basically the park so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short episode. In the next episode, we'll continue some more work on the park. And we'll see how that goes. So until then, peace from Pieces of Prestige.